What's up? It's Christine Horn. You are watching Actors Daily Bread, episode 174. I'm live on Instagram. Hey, Instagram. I'm live on Facebook. What's up, Facebook? This is Actors Daily Bread, where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. East Coast, I'm sorry I'm on here a little late. My assistant just left. We've just been doing some paperwork and data entry and boring, tedious office work. <laughs> so she just left, and so I was like, let me pop on, even if see my East Coast people might be... Um, my East Coast people might be in bed. But uh, this is um, day 11, day 12. You guys know I'm teaching at Bronze Lens Film Festival in Atlanta, Georgia, August 24th. If you want to come see me, work with me all day, the link is in my bio, Instagram, Facebook, it's above or below. So in honor of Level Up to Stardom, the name of my event, August 24th, I am going, I've been going live every single day. At different times of the day and it's so funny when we started this a week or so ago I said look I ain't gonna have on makeup every day I'm not gonna have on hair every day if you've been watching since <laughs> who's been watching since like last week it's just been a decline it's just been a decline day one honey I was beat I have an audition tomorrow so I'll put some makeup on for y'all tomorrow maybe some hair <laughs> but not today not today it's too hot but let's get into it um, Today I'm talking about embracing good enough. Uh, we had some really great lives the past several days. So if you did miss Friday nights, we went almost an hour. We kind of talked about everything Friday. Um, so this has just been a wonderful series, if I do say so myself. Um, so if this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread, I want to welcome you. Throw one in the comments this is your first time watching. If you're an OG member, you've been watching three more times, put an OG in the comments. To all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So let's get on it. Hey, Jocelyn. Hey, Denise. My prayers with you and your family, Denise. Coming over here to face, I mean, to Instagram, just checking on who's in the Bianca, hey Dominique, uh, Shamika again, um, Bianca said love to your podcast with the Actors Lounge. Yes, shout out to Mel V with the Actors Lounge podcast. I have been doing podcast after podcast. Last week I was on three. I'll be on two podcasts this week. Um, in addition to my own, if you have not listened to the Hollywood Bound Actor podcast, check it out. I just dusted it off <laughs> and a, a new episode actually went up today so wherever you like to listen to podcasts you can listen to the hollywood bound actor podcast with me um so yes 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 hi ramon hi bianca and what's up and sheila my dog is losing his mind And my husband's out there too. I'm like, what is going on? Um, okay, you know Instagram, I can't read these names. I don't know what the real name is. So thank you, but hi Sheila, I'll remember. So let's get into it today. Hey Gail, okay. So, you know, we've been talking about a lot of things. You know, my whole, my whole mission in, in talking with you is to always teach you some part of my personal methodology, which is getting to know your mama, right? Mindset, acting, marketing, and auditioning. And that is just the full arc of what I believe, personally, it takes to be a consistent, consistent working actor. Um, and so what I wanna talk about today is the thing that is stopping you from doing the thing you know you should be doing or could be doing, the thing that could take you to your next level. And I'm just gonna embrace, I'm gonna to talk to my perfectionists out there. <laughs> Some of my Virgos out there. <laughs> Any perfectionists in a room, uh, put me in the comments if that is you. Um, but I think even regardless of zodiac sign, we all have moments where we are like, I want to do this, or I'm going to do this, but I've got to wait until it's just right. And so while... <laughs> You're so loud. Um, sorry, I'm distracted. Um, I have talked to clients before who have not marketed themselves because... Hold on a sec. Y'all see this eye, right? I know.
know you can't hear Ms. Denise, but I can. And if I'm distracted, that means I'm not present with you and I can't focus. We're good now. <laughs> Let me do, hold on, hold on. Let me get my Marilee ball. Hold on, reset these chakras right quick. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna reset. <laughs> that is real. So back to where I was. Some of you are not doing the thing that you know you should be doing that can take you to the next level because you're trying to get it so perfect. You may have seen someone else do something. You may, see, you may have seen someone else's marketing. You may have seen someone else's website, someone else's headshots, someone else's short film, someone else's web series. And because you are afraid, fear that it's not going to be perfect whatever that means because the level of perfectionism is different for all of us can we just touch and agree that we are our own worst critics at all times we're going to judge ourselves the harshest we want to be the best most of us strive for excellence i know i do but there comes a point where you are hindering your own growth and going to your next level because you're trying to get it so right. I uh, was joking with, uh, shout out to Lenny Thomas, who I interviewed, one of my clients in my Booking Magnet Academy. And he, he sent me a, he sent me a, he tagged me on Facebook when he finally sent out what I like to call love notes, but it's basically marketing. So it could be a postcard or something like that. The stuff that I teach my students. And he said, Christine, I finally just did it. I just did it. And I was like, what is it that was holding you back? And he said he would be like, this font isn't right. And I said, well, what is the, I always ask, I always like to ask this question. <laughs> hi, Tiffany. Hi, Kenya. Right. Hi, Amina. I always like to ask this question. What do you think, what's the worst case scenario that's about, to, what, that you think that your mind has thought up? Because when you're not doing something, your brain is saying, your brain has already thought about what is going to happen. And this is what I was talking about on the Actors Lounge podcast the other day. I talk about it in my book. You're our, we get, our job is to use our imagination as actors. That is our number one job. The problem is you're using your imagination as a lethal weapon instead of as a useful tool. So you are, you are imagining something happening. The issue is you're imagining the worst case scenario. Again, lethal weapon instead of useful tool. So I always ask the thing that you are not doing, you, 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 the thing you are not doing, the thing that you keep putting off to tomorrow, next week, next year, what in your mind is the worst case scenario? Like what, this is when you're allowed to say it. You're allowed to say. And I asked Lenny this and he said, well, because <laughs> I said, why didn't you send out your marketing? He said, in his mind, he thought the casting director would get his piece of marketing and be like, look at this font. Who would use this font? What's his name? Put him on the list. Never call him in. <laughs> and we laughed at that so hard, but it was important for us to just acknowledge how ridiculous this was. And though we laughed at it, this joke, had been holding him back from reaching out to people for months. So it sounds ridiculous and we can be like, oh, that's so crazy. <laughs> but it was holding him back. So the question tonight is what is holding you back? This is where we have to embrace good enough. Done is better than perfect. I think we're always in a stage of growing and evolution. We always want to be better. We always are trying to get it right. I remember doing an independent film years ago called The Retrieval. Fantastic indie film, like one of those that just, I was shocked at how great it was because I submitted on Actors Access on my own and it ended up in all these festivals. And the director said he finally just had to let go. Someone literally had to pry it out of his hands because he was the director and the writer and the editor, and he was so close to it, it was never perfect. It was never good enough to him. And 
there is something that each and every one of you is not doing or has put off. And listen, I'm talking to you firsthand as someone who just released a book. Every negative emotion, thought came up in this process, which is why when I had the idea almost a year ago, I didn't act on it. And then I said, no, my purpose has to be bigger than my fear. My purpose has to be bigger than my fear. My purpose has to be bigger than my fear. People need this. Purpose has to be bigger than my fear. I have to do this. This can get me to another level. Don't listen to Veronica. That's my voice for those of you who don't know. So let me just check. Let me just check the... Um, Gail says, lethal weapon syndrome, guilty. We're all guilty at times. The key is understanding that that is what's always happening. Yes, Denise, done is better than perfect. Because the thing is, if you don't do it, if you don't do the thing, whatever your thing is, we can't grow from it. So all we are left with is stuck in our imagination of what could be, but we never know. I'd rather you fall flat on your face and learn from that and so that the next time is better. My first short film, I've been very transparent with you guys. You can still see it on my IMDb because I'm proud of it because it got done. The sound was horrible, like, but I did it. And I proved to myself that I could do it. I learned about producing and directing. I learned what I wouldn't do again, what I would do again. And so the next time, guess what? I'm gonna grow from that. But if I didn't show up and just embrace good enough and not worry about what everybody was gonna think, like, look, boo, you didn't put it on this. You gonna, you gonna put some money in to get me better editing? You gonna put some money in on this to get me better sound? Please do, I'll take donations, crowdsource. But don't be on the outside, right? The credit goes to the man in the arena, the woman in the arena. That is you, that is you, that is you, that is me, that is us. We are in the arena. So only surround yourself with people who are gonna uplift you and, and pour into your dream. If they not, they need to be put in another little pocket, another compartment. I'm all about solutions. If, you, if all you have to say is, uh, I don't know if I like that, what's the solution? You're either part of the solution or part of the problem. Do you have a suggestion that I can use or should you, can you step aside? So whether it is you not marketing yourself, afraid to send that postcard, that thank you card, whether it is you putting off that web series, whether it is you not self-submitting for things, whether you think your mind should only stay at a certain type of role, like whatever it is, I want you to embrace good enough. Like literally say, and I know this is gonna be hard for my Virgos. <laughs> Cause y'all got to get it right. Say this, and like, I think it would help to just out loud be like, this is imperfect, but it's good enough. And I can always do it better the next time. Y'all picking up what I'm putting down? Yes, be about solutions. Let me come over here to Instagram, see what y'all talking about. See what y'all talking about. Y'all talking tonight. See, when y'all talk, I talk. Um, HD Photogenic says, I like what you're talking about. I wish I had somebody like you in my life to try to help me out. I am in your life. You right here. You right here. I'm right here. I'm in your life, boo. We're connected. Look, if you don't like the circle you got, you're in charge of that. You're a magnet. We are all magnets. People are coming into you because you're putting out the same energy. You guys are meeting somewhere. If you don't like what's coming to you in your world, put out a new vibration and you will attract new people, new things, new experiences. But you have to be intentional. That starts with you, that starts up here. But we're connected. I got, uh, this is episode 174. If you wanna watch more, there's 173 more videos plus all the free trainings that I do. Click on my link in Instagram and just have fun, field day. <laughs> Pleasure to connect with you. Hi, Andre. Um, am I on Facebook? Yes, I'm on Facebook. We have an amazing Facebook group. Again, click the link in my bio on Instagram and join the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group. You will not find a more supportive group of actors in the world. They're amazing. That's why I'm on Facebook now, too, because some of them are here right now. So you are welcome. Hey, to Darius. Hey, Katrina. Uh, Sheila says, trusting myself that I'm good enough. Yeah, that worth, that worthiness is huge. Um, simply what is holding me back is not being able to, ha to have opportunities simply because of having a visual impairment. Well, you know, I don't know 
if that is necessarily true, that may be a story that you're telling yourself. You know, we're in a day and age now where I'm grateful. There's not, it's not as many necessarily as um, for people with, with vision, but there are opportunities. And definitely there are a lot of, there are a lot of opportunities for um, lot of people with all kinds of disabilities. And I would dare say, HD Photogenic, I know I don't know you, but have you ever thought about creating something for yourself? Some of the, mo the most popular shows were, were created by people who were living in that disability and they created their own way. I just, I don't, I, you know, <laughs> for 15 years, I worked at, at a nonprofit in Atlanta where all I did was work with people with disabilities, physical, mental, you name it. And one of the main things we taught was to teach our clients that we would focus on their abilities, not their disabilities. And so we didn't allow them to buy into the story of woe is me. And I'm not saying this is you, but we didn't allow them to buy into the story of because I'm an amputee, because I'm blind, because I have bi I have bipolar, because I lost you know an, this capability I used to have makes you know less. And we didn't we didn't we made arrangements right. <laughs> we made things comfortable. But that wasn't an excuse because the world is not going to treat you that way. And so I dare say, if there's something you want to do, if you want to create, if you want to create something for yourself, create something for yourself and then teach us how to see you. But if you wait on this world to give you this, uh, this job to, to uh, discover you, you may be waiting a long time. And that goes with everybody. She, uh, Sheila says, so guilty. I think I'm not talented enough. Listen, when this all comes down to... Again, self-worth. It comes down to self-worth. Again, this is why I keep drilling the whole mindset piece. See, this is how I even started this last week, the week before I was talking about, I could give you strategy all day, Sheila. I could say, hey, click here, click here, call this person, see if they'll get you a job. But if you don't believe in thyself, I, there's nothing, I can't do that for you. I think Cat Williams said it best. Self-esteem is the esteem of yourself. Like, I can't, you know, it's like we have to work on that. So whatever that is that is making us feel unworthy, not talented enough, second-guessing what it is, we have to reverse engineer, dissect, dissect, dissect. You have to also remember whose you are, where you come from, and how you were created, and whose likeness you were created from. And the one up there is dope as A, is dope AF, right? So... We got to do whatever inner work, reading, self-help to build that muscle. And if it's just lack of talent because of being new in the industry, again, I don't know you, Sheila, right? But if it's because you're new in the industry, then you need to arm yourself, surround yourself in classes, reading acting books. It should not be a day that goes by where you're not watching a video. And this, even if you don't have no money, that's the internet library. You see, I have very little room for excuses. Library books, online classes, videos like this, SAG Conservatory has videos. There's just a plethora of information. You could get some friends together, y'all read scripts. When you that confidence build, you have to just, it'll be proven to yourself. And that will take some time. That will take some time. Yes, yes. Gail says, my her mantra is, I am what they need for their project. So tonight, if you're just joining us, this is day 12 of my Level Up to Stardom series, but um, actually episode 174 of Actors Daily Bread. And tonight we're talking about embracing good enough. The things you've been putting off, just get them done instead of getting them perfect because perfect never exists. I think perfect is a, is a dark abyss. It just does not exist. Um, yes, solutions. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Brandon. Hi, Nicole. Um, <laughs> she says, get the book and get your life. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Ernest. Yes, self-esteem is the esteem of yourself to that, right, to thy own self be true. Right. Okay, so I hope y'all are picking up what I'm putting down. You know, this has been wonderful. Again, just do it. Not to sound like Nike, but literally like even if it's uncertain, because most of this life we're living is uncertain. There are no guarantees. And let me just speak to this piece on marketing. And I'm sure I'll be talking a lot more about marketing this week. This is a big takeaway for tonight. 
release your attachment to the outcome. Can I say that again for you? Release your attachment to the outcome. So all my Booking Magnet Academy members, students know this, my inner circle members know this. They're like, Christine, okay, I'm doing this marketing. You said I sent that, I sent that thank you note, I sent that car postcard, I sent that email, I sent that tweet, sent that IG, but they didn't they didn't like me back, or they didn't, you know, what what next? Say thank you and keep moving. They'd be like, what? They'd be like, no, they'd be like, uh, but I spent $22.98 on these stamps and these prints. <laughs> release the attachment to the outcome. That is why what I teach is called love notes. I believe we should spread love into this world. Oh my God, this, have we been watching the news the past couple of days? The world needs more love. It ain't about this little project. It ain't about one film. If I can bring a smile to a casting director's face, if I can bring some good energy through the mail, like literally that my piece of mail that goes through the post office, the person touches it, holding it, feels an energy, feels a good juice, and they pass it on. Like it is circulation. It is the law of circulation. That's just spreading love. That is the intention. So when I mail anything, any piece of mail you get from me has that energy. And I, and I believe people feel it. They don't know what they're feeling, but they feel it. This video right here is all love. Any piece of advice I give, solicited or unsolicited, all love. So let's uh, detach. Let's just get rid of the attachment to the outcome. Stop thinking, oh, if I send Miss Denise this car, she gonna send me, she gonna call me in for that next thing. All right. Because your blessing, your next booking may not come from Miss Denise. You may send this thank you card to Denise. Thank you so much for calling me in for that audition. It was so wonderful to meet you. Your smile lit up the room and the plants in your, in your office just brought me so much joy because I love plants. Actually, here's, I've enclosed some seedlings that I got from Home Depot. I thought you might enjoy them. Maybe you want to start a new plant in your office. Then your phone might ring from George Pierre saying you got the job. Like you don't know. So let's stop worrying about that piece and be very intentional on what we're giving from our heart. That's how we don't be thirsty, desperate with the gimme, 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 what can you do for me? Right? I think I said all I had to say tonight. <laughs> I just guess, I guess so I, I get so pumped and I get so excited. You guys know some of my clients, I have this, that black folder right there. Oh, you can't see it, Instagram. There's a folder over there. I just started collecting the love notes that have started coming into my mailbox. I got one today from Sheena Faust. Shout out to Sheena. And I just love the love that comes to the mailbox. Not because they're sending me, it's just, it's just an intention. And that's what makes you guys different. Um, so yeah, that's all I had today. I'm going to go, um, just cause I feel like I've said it all unless somebody has something else they want to say, but it's so good to see your beautiful faces and see your comments. Let's just keep spreading love into the world. How about the next time you have an audition, you just walk in with the energy of love. If you walk in your next audition in person with just being filled and fueled by love and good energy, you ain't got time to be, to be nervous. You ain't got time for that. If your goal then becomes, I'm going to tell the story of this person I'm embodying. Thank you, Tracy, whatever your character's name is. Thank you, John, for trusting me with your story. I know that I am safe with your emotion and with your history and your story because I get to take you off to that, do that onion, peeled onion exercise. We do an acting class, right? I know that I am safe. I'm down to the white meat just just expressing who you are, whether I believe in everything that you do or not, like I'm safe, you're safe. I'm going to go in and share your story. No amount of nerves, no casting director, no camera, no nothing can throw me off my game because I'm here for this purpose. Your purpose has to be bigger than your fear. And then you get to leave 
Know you booked the room. Know you spread love. Know you sent good energy to the people in the waiting room. You sign out, say thank you. You send your thank you card to whoever saw you that day. And then you release your attachment to the outcome. And what will be, will be because why? It's already done. <laughs> it's already done. Guys, have an amazing night. I am Christine Horn. If this training was helpful to you, just give me a like, thumbs up. If you're watching on uh, YouTube in a few days, subscribe. If you're listening on the podcast, subscribe, leave a review. You know, tell a friend. And if you want to meet me and let's do this work together, um, come see me in Atlanta, Georgia, August 24th, Saturday from 10 to 6. We're going to do it all day. And if you came last year, we're not doing exactly what we did last year just to talk about that. Um, but the link is above or below on Facebook, Instagram. The link is in my bio. Have a good night. You can watch the replay later. Bye.